So as many of you guys are probably already aware, Offensive Security recently replaced the Backtrack Penetration Testing Distribution with a new operating system known as Kali Linux. I've had a few days to get in and start playing around with Kali Linux, and I wanted to give my thoughts on this distribution. So you'll probably notice a few things whenever you first install it. The most immediate thing that you'll probably notice is that the look and feel is very similar to what we saw in Backtrack. Same desktop, you've got multiple different workspaces, but there are several differences that you should note. One is the transition from Firefox web browser to IceWeasel. Now, I say this is a difference, it really doesn't seem to be much of one because in playing around with IceWeasel, in nearly every way, it looks like it's pretty much the exact same thing as Firefox. So, in addition to that, another thing that you'll notice is that there is no longer a pen test directory at all. It's completely gone. So, this kind of immediately leaves you with the thought, okay, where do I go in order to run the different programs in Backtrack. And that's the interesting thing that's new about Kali Linux, is that everything is still accessible, but you no longer have to browse through the pen test directory. Instead, you can actually launch any program from any location in the entire directory. All you have to do is just type in the command, and it'll work exactly the same from any location. And that's any of the tools that are installed on here can be called from any location. Now, I see there being both disadvantages and advantages to this. The disadvantage being you kind of have to be a little bit more familiar with the tools and know what you're wanting to call on. Um, however, the obvious advantage is not having to specify unique directories in order to reference different files within different programs, but instead just being able to call upon it from any location and then just specifying the lo or files within those locations if you're trying to handle those files within the program. Uh, in addition to that, you've also got the same GUI interface where you can access your different tools by category, so this can be helpful if you're not familiar with exactly what you're looking for. Uh, another interesting thing that's new is this option for top 10 security tools, which can be helpful for using some of the more commonly used tools and easily accessing those. Uh, another thing that's really exciting about Kali Linux is the full integration of Metasploit Pro from Rapid7 in Kali Linux. Pretty much all you have to do is install the license or enter the license from Rapid7 and then you're completely ready to go. Um, another thing you might notice is that there are several GUI programs that were present in Backtrack that are not present in Kali. For example, ZenMap is one of them. Another one is Armitage, the graphic front end for Metasploit. Now, what I think the reasoning behind this was, was to create a lightweight distro that's effective for more experienced penetration testers, because most of these are just graphical crutches for less experienced pen testing individuals. However, fortunately, all of these tools are still available in the repository, so any of them can easily be acquired by just using a simple apt git install command, and then ZenMap or Armitage etc. And that's pretty much all it takes to install them. Uh, one final thing that you might notice is without the pen test tree, we also don't have a lot of the different scripts that are available within the original backtrack, backtrack distribution. Um, and I think a lot of the reason behind this is there's more streamlined applications and full programs that can be found within Kali that can perform most of the function that's, that those scripts do, but there may be certain scripts that you were familiar with that you enjoyed using in Backtrack that you may want to still use in Kali. I think the most effective way to find any of these, uh, one in particular that I used and did a previous video on was cup.py. I think the most effective way to track some of these down is to just do some basic Google hacking. All you're going to have to do is just enter the name of the particular script that you're looking for 
and then specify the extension, in this case, python extension dot pi, and then enter. And, and you'll notice that we immediately find our common user password profile script available for use. So that pretty much covers my review of Kali. Personally, I'm really excited about this new distribution, and I think that it will catch on. I think there is going to be some amount of reluctance from certain parties who are more used to the backtrack way of doing things, but I think in time this will definitely become the distribution of choice. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.